Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plug and Boutique and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to get audio input into Concept from Krodos to trigger different automation parameters and settings. It's really easy to do. And if you're looking for a more in-depth video on Concept, I actually filmed a product specialist at the NAMM show doing a demo of this synth and I'm going to leave a link to it in the video description if you're looking to learn more. So let's go ahead and jump into the quick tutorial. All right, so here's Concept with the default patch and a good way to do this, this kind of method and how I found the right sound for this project was I just flipped through different presets and then I looked over here at the cutoff and it had, if it had automation, I could see the color and then I just jump into to whatever that was and change it from envelope to audio input. And of course, inside of Ableton Live, I need to sidechain from the drums because that's what I want to trigger this. And then I would just flip through presets until I found one that kind of sounded right. And then I would dial in things from there. So the preset that I found that works best with this track was this Robble pad here. And if I look over here where it's cut off, it's blue. So I got to find that envelope. It's going to be color coded nice and easy and change that envelope to audio input. And now if I play this track, let me go ahead and just solo the drums in this pad. So right now the audio input is driving the cutoff position. So I'm going to take the cutoff and pull it all the way down and then I can take this arrow and drag up or right here inside of the parameter section, pull over as well to increase that range. I also want to boost up this mix to 100% so the uh, filter is affecting the entire signal. All right, so you can hear how the filter is opening up as the amplitude of the signal comes in. And inside of this audio input, I can choose between ample uh, amplitude and pitch. I'm obviously on amplitude. I'm using the drums and actually you can send up to four different side chains in here. I'm going to leave it on side chain one. That's kind of the default. And the next thing I want to do is boost up the pre gain here. And what that's going to do is really push it over the entire range of the automation setting here. If I double click and send it back down to zero, you can see it's really only peaking around here. But if I pull it up to around six, I'm really getting some good automation there. So we can actually do that with an EQ as well. If I want to come in here and let's do a low cut, let's pull down that Q to around, you know, one or something, just so it's a more of a nice gentle thing there. And then we could take the frequency and any of these parameters when I'm hovering over the name that turns into a hand, I can just simply just drag and drop that to whichever automation lane that I want. I'm going to pull it to that audio input as well, pull it over a little bit, pull down the frequency. <laughs> All right, and instead of delay, let's just go ahead and put it on the convolution reverb. Another really cool thing inside of this is you can import your own impulse responses. I'm just going to use this default one. And there we go. So now we just need to listen to this in the context of the track to make sure everything is dialed in correctly. And there we go. It's working really well with the track. It's just adding a little bit of kind of like ambiance inside of there uh, to aid with the kind of openness of the track itself. And I really, I really dig it. I really like the audio input addition to the automation section. It's kind of unique. You don't see it that often. And I'm glad it's inside of concept. And now that that's set up, if I want to change it to a break beat or something. You can hear that it's still everything is working out just fine. So if I have a breakdown or a different drum part, whatever is on this drum channel is going to get fed into concept and that filter cutoff and the frequency of that EQ will be triggered by the amplitude of that incoming signal. It's that easy. It's a really cool way to get creative and keep things interesting. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you because it's cool, it's unique, and that's concept. Click the link in the video description to find out more. I'm Joshua Casper. This has been a two minute Tuesday and I'll see you in the next video.